Hey everybody, it's Wednesday, January 13th, 2010. What's up? Um, I'm in the car, it's about 10 to 8, and I'm headed to Bethel to shoot a video. Um, I'm really excited, actually, to shoot this thing because uh, there's a, uh, a family, the Sloan family, uh, at Bethel. I didn't... This is stupid. Wednesday, January 13th, 2010. Hi, everybody. This is Todd Vlog 250-something. I'm going to go with 7257. Uh, it's about 10 to 8. I'm headed to the church. Hi! How are you guys? It's been forever, hasn't it? It's been far too long since we had one of these things. Um, I I've had my camera with me. I just haven't, haven't shot much. Um... I've been feeling like the vlogs were getting a little boring. I think I'll eat a mint. That'll spice it up. Back to driving, vlogging, eating mints. I'm back, baby. Um, okay. So, like I said, I've had the camera. I don't know. Nothing has seemed video worthy lately. Um, I mean, I should have done some stuff today. I went to this really cool. A seminar today hosted by Grace Community Church here in Tyler and uh, saw a bunch of church friends and that was cool and I didn't video any of it so I'm lame. Um, I am headed to the church though uh, to shoot a video for Bethel. I'm really excited about this. Uh, there's a family at Bethel, the Sloan family, um, and they... <coughs> <coughs> So I'm headed to the church to shoot a video. Um, let me tell you what it is, because I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, probably a week or two ago uh, at uh, Bethel's YouTube, youtube.com slash Bethel Bible, um, some videos posted from this, uh, this camp in Jamaica that we support. Um, Jim Smithies has taken multiple <coughs> missions teams down there. Um, so we have this good relationship with them, and there are these videos that pop up on Bethel's YouTube, which is interesting because really the only folks who upload stuff to Bethel's YouTube uh, are, are me and Jim Smithies. And so um, there are these videos of all of the staff of this camp opening Christmas presents, and they're great videos. They really are, and and it's just this really sort of surprising thing. I didn't know where it came from, and so I asked Jim about it, <coughs> excuse me, asked, I asked, I asked Jim about it to see what the deal was, and it turns out that a family at Bethel, Miles and Bart Sloan, um, got it into their heads and their hearts that they wanted to do Christmas gifts for the staff of this camp. We're going to shoot a video with Miles, uh, and I think Bart's going to be, be there too, but Miles is a student in our youth ministry and so youth wraps up at eight o'clock i want to go shoot that video with miles and my hope is also to um as miles is talking to use as my b-roll footage uh the the footage of people opening the present so anyway i'm gonna go shoot that so i'm not sure i'd like to actually shoot footage with this stuff of me making the video with miles but uh, i don't know we'll see we'll see how that goes um maybe i'm gonna go shoot that um, I've been real busy trying to fire life back into the Bethel blog. Um, Bethel keeps a blog, and at one time, the staff was, uh, everybody had a day, and that kind of fell away, and so I've just been posting different things, and we've been trying to keep a lot of activity on there, uh, just for the, the testimonies, the stories, for upcoming info about stuff, um, because I think if we get people to to tie into that, I think that they'd be blessed for that. We've had a good week. We had um, an interview this week with somebody, and, and that got a lot of hits. And in the past couple days, we've got some good hits. So this video probably will first and foremost land on the blog, so we can sort of point some traffic there. So um, anyway, that's kind of what we're looking at um, tonight. So hopefully I can get some footage of, uh, of us making the video. Okay, so I'm here in Mark Kirkendall's office, about to shoot the video with Miles. And you've probably been in a lot of um, youth pastors' offices, but I want to show you what the type of stuff Mark's reading. Vintage Daddy. Jesus, Systematic Theology, Cross of Christ, and God of Life. This is not a typical youth minister office. It's like youth minister slash theology nerd office. You got anything that, else you're reading? I'm really not proud of this one. 
and this may upset some people, wah, wah. but I do read people of different views and different mindsets. So you can argue against them yes, later. Yes, I am reading a, uh, a postmodern-y kind of dude, organic church, so we got the organic in there, but I'm Sounds reading. a little too green so, to me. No, I, I, I read on both sides of the spectrum. But how is organic church? Uh, so far, it's not bad. I think it's 257. There's miles of art. Okay, guys, you're on this video for me, which you could say anything. I mean, you don't have to be spiritual or anything. <laughs> and then on this video down here, you're going to talk about the the presence for Jamaica. So are you guys nervous because you're about to be on video? Not really. I've been shot at before. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Miles and Bart just did their video. Uh, I'm going to put the link in the video for you to go watch the stuff Um all of the stuff that they sent to Jamaica, and just you can just get a sense of um, what these gifts meant to folks. It meant a ton to these people who work at this camp, and they did a good job. So hopefully, I'll try to edit some of that tonight. So, wondering about shooting, um, what I'm going to do for intro of the video? I think I may do kind of a text thing. Um, I don't know. It needs a little more description than than that. So I don't know if I need to shoot a a stand-up deal about it or, or what, how I want to tell people about that. So, I don't know, I may shoot that right now. Hey, everybody, I'm back home from the video shoot, and I stopped by Dairy Queen to get myself a caramel shake, one of my favorite types of milkshakes. It's very good if you haven't had it. It's really good. I got Kristen a blizzard. I'm not going to show you her because her hair looks like Monty Python again. Shitty. But I was on the phone with Justin Romack and the man's coming and he's bringing the blizzard for Kristen and I decided to ask him if they get tired of tipping the blizzard. All right, here's a guy holding the blizzard upside down at the Day Queen and I just ask you, do y'all get tired of turning that upside down? Not at all, man, it's actually kind of fun. Do people, ever, are people tired of it? Is it not the uh, novelty anymore? Not really, a lot of people still kind of get kind of shocked that it doesn't fall out, so. All right, well thank you for this interview. Not a problem. There you have it. They love it. And everybody still gets a kick out of it. I don't buy it. I think that guy's a corporate yes man.